Hi, I want to tell you about recording sermons at St. Martin in the Fields. And this process starts in the sacristy. Once you go in, you can actually check who's preaching up on the wall above the light switch. Uh, Father Scott typically preaches from the center. And Father Chris and Deacon Io preach from the pulpit. And anybody else you have to check with. It's always a good idea to get here around 10:15 and check anyway. Um, anyway, so open the top drawer and get the iPhone out of the blue bag that's there and the Zoom voice recorder and pick one of the tripods. The tripod with the blue tips has magnetic feet on it. These things are magnetic and the other tripod is different. It's not magnetic. You can use it um, any which way you want. But the one with the blue tips, if you're going to clamp it to a speaker stand or a microphone stand or anything that's metal, works really well. So you get to pick those things. Pick one uh, for today. I'll take the uh, blue tipped one. And we will go ahead and show you how to turn on the iPhone. The button's at the top. Press and hold for a bit and it will power on. The zoom um, on the side, so you see it's got a display and a one button on the front. On the side, there's a whole bunch of buttons. On the bottom, there's buttons that are taped over so that you can't mess with them. So, on the side, the bottom button here is a slide. Pull it down and hold it and release and you will see that it says hi and then it's ready to go so we're gonna turn this off and head into the church for a minute we are in church and I'm going to go into the closet where we have the audio visual equipment and I'm gonna turn the light on and I'm gonna close the door so in here there's a um, hearing aid, amplifier, various equipment, and a power strip. The power strip is where you would turn anything on if it's not already on and everything else comes on. Don't press individual power buttons, please. So, over by the hearing aid, you have a white cable with a stereo clip that you will then insert into the insert into the um, zoom system and to start recording actually let me back up you note that as you're facing it that cable is plugged in on the right not on the left where there's a headphone out that's if you wanted to listen um, to start recording press start and you see the second start to task down it's actually recording my voice right now. Um, and then you leave it and walk away because Annika will go and uh, edit out only what she needs from the sermon. And now I'm going to pause this again and show you about setting up the iPhone. Actually, before I do that, uh, at the end of the service, come back and retrieve the voice recorder, press the stop button like that, and it will um, stop. Then you can turn the power off on the power strip and unplug the white wire. So in church when Scott or someone else is preaching from the center, I find that the third row gives you plenty of uh, room to set up, third or fourth row either side. Also, it's always a good idea to check how much light's coming through the windows. If they're completely shut, you're gonna want to change it. So, so in church, grab the iPhone and slip it into the uh, tripod, the little tripod, it's a spring clip. Make sure that the camera on the back of the iPhone is up, not down. Flipping video isn't any fun. And if it's got any annoying screens there, click right on through them. The camera app 
is what you use to record. Slide it to the video position and place the camera on what. So in church, again, you want to press the camera icon, set it, do the slide to video, and uh, then make some small adjustments to your tripod, like if, if it's clipped onto the um, rail in the front pew, or to any pew, to the end, um, and you pinch to zoom on the iPhone, and then you can set the white, the brightness of the photo by tapping on it. So usually what I do when the speaker gets there, I will um, set the white balance on their face. And then it's a press to start and press to stop recording. Other thing uh, is you can adjust it so that the um, photos frame uh, that your video is framed nicely and that's it when you're done stop the recording and you can turn the iPhone off and uh, move any equipment out of the way and at the end of the service retrieve the zoom recorder and turn it off and put everything back where you found it St. Martin's really appreciates the ministry of our people to serve others and extending our sermon to people who can't come to church is just an example of the way that we care for one another. So thank you for your involvement in it.